Hello, I'm Kelly Foss, and this is video two of a four video series where we are drawing the face. As we go through the features one by one, video one, we did a mouth, and this is video two, so we're gonna draw a nose. I love noses because all of us have such different noses, which is beautiful. What do we need to draw this nose? I'm gonna use my favorite Strathmore drawing paper and just four pencils, a Lyra 4B, 9B, and HB, as well as a Lyra Red. A lot of layering between the graphite and the red pencil, which is really necessary for it to build correctly. We're gonna be using tons of the red. If you've ever messed up a drawing by smudging your hand into it, trying to get away the eraser peels, or by spitting on your drawing by mistake as you're trying to blow away some dust, you need one of these. It is a Princeton brush. Now that we have all our supplies, let's just get into the drawing. Here's my model Nina's nose. I have a red pencil and I am blocking in the boundaries using straight lines. At this point, it's a guess until I take the width and compare it to the height. She has a freckle that makes it just perfect of the width versus height. I'm imagining the ball of the nose here and the space, and I am still using those straight lines, even though it's a very roundy subject. Asymmetries happen on all of our faces, though we are roughly symmetrical. So you do a point to point comparison to find the nostril tops and the nostrils themselves right here to here. In art, we might say we are dropping a plumb line, merely meaning we're seeing how things line up on a vertical line, like the septum of the nose here meets up with the tilt, so I can change the projection of the tilt of the nose. I'm looking at the bridge of the nose. Please remember that it is a bridge and not a tent, so don't thin it out. I'm blocking in the shadow lightly. You can see my lines are more like dashes. This allows the drawing to be movable while I'm still constructing it. I'm envisioning the form of the nose here. And as I squint at the photo, I can see this as the boundary of the shadow. With the tissue, I'm just gonna do a little softening of my lines. And then with my red pencil, using a side hold, so it's more of a broad stroke, I'm toning in the darker areas. And I'll quick just tissue that down and then do a little cleanup with my white eraser and brush off those eraser peels. With the red, I'm gonna just quick refine these nostrils and then jump over to using a 4B. To quickly define some of the shadow side lines as well as add some value before switching over to the tissue to flatten it all together. This is part of the layering process. Back to the red to add another layer, building up of the value and reinforcing these lines that are on the shadow side. Switching over now to the 9B, this sets the stage for how dark we are going to go with this nose. And we'll switch over to the red now. This back and forth process really allows the very illuminated nose to really grow in its glowiness. And it gets you to be really comfortable with the power of the pencils. The red adds so much warmth to the drawing. While the graphite brings that dark value, it also takes away the color. It's a back and forth dance. Now back to the HB to smooth the transition of values and darken. The graphite takes away the warmth. So I'm going to keep that ball of the nose just red. jump back over to the red and transition out of this far line here from darkness into a little bit more light and similar over here on this nostril. Lines mustn't stand alone. They need to be transitioned out of. When we take our time to do this, our drawings can look really 3D. Adding to the downward facing plane of the nose here, and working around the ball of the nose. Really want to enforce that form and how it's so illuminated. The bridge of the nose isn't as bright as the ball of the nose, but it has that nice ruddy red on it. 
I'm just kind of glazing it on there. And squint at your drawing because it kind of points out to you where there's maybe a light spot that you're missing, like I'm doing it right here. I used to tell my students that art is not a race. So really enjoy the process, especially something like this where we're just building the color. Now that I have my desired red intensity, I'm switching over to the HB to damper down some of that red and also add value. Again, the downward plane of the nose, as well as reinforcing that ball of the nose. And I'm going off some of the side of the nose here. Just adding a little bit of value. But making sure that I'm transitioning, not going too fast. Because when we go fast, it gets kind of splotchy and it ruins the effect of the form. With the 4B going a little bit darker, I'm going to capture the delicacy of the nostril meeting into the face right there. This is such a beautifully unique area to take notice of on people. Some people's nostrils smooth right into their face and some people's curl in like this. It sounds funny, but as a portrait artist, we appreciate these things. Now to the 9B. I just want to push this darkness a smidge more. And then that will be it for this powerhouse of a pencil. Love you, 9B. Now I'm just going to layer some red over the graphite that I just put down. That cool graphite now is going to be warmed up by my red. Not to spread graphite where I don't want it. I'm using a clean tissue to fog out some of that scratchiness and pull down just a glimpse of the side of the filtrum here. Tapping a little bit of my kneaded eraser and switching over to the HB just fast to fill in some splotchiness before jumping over to the red pencil. If you know how many times I've switched pencils, please put it in the comments. I would love to see your guesses. This is reinforcing the form before I switch to the HB. HB is calming the red now and adding just a smidge more shadow to the side of the nose before this is the final one, I promise, the red to finish. And then all you got to do is uh, sign this. And that is that. How did you do? I would love to see your drawings. Thank you for joining me for this session. I hope you'll join me for the next two. Next up, we're drawing eyes. See ya.